What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my <clears throat> Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. So to kind of round off happened last time, I just had a few fights against the Ottoman Empire as I just pretty much ransacked their entire empire. Um, it's been a while since I've played as the Russians, I've got a small stack going down to garrison Baghdad, probably with an eye to press east into Persia at some point, then push down into India. Um, I am laying siege to Damascus. I have this stack coming here to take on this little ragtag bunch of troops here. Anchor is mine and is being converted to Russian orthodoxy. And I am also laying siege to Istanbul with this force under Konstantin Voropayev. Excellent. I'm at peace with Austria, allied with Poland, at war with Pr Prussia, at war with Sweden presumably, yep. And I've got <clears throat> this stack up here that will probably try and get up to no good. Whereas these guys will just hold on. Um, yeah, I think my... <clears throat> I think my main effort will be down here. In knocking out the Ottomans, the rest will keep an eye on. Actually, am I recruiting anything here? Ooh, I am. He reminds me of someone, I can't remember who. Uh, Alright. Research and tech. Uh, diamond wedge formation. I bother about wedge for formation. Ten percent upkeep. Allows me to recruit field marshals. Plus five percent upkeep. Hmm. Yeah, I might have to do this, even though I don't necessarily want the don't necessarily want the upkeep. I want the the new army board to recruit more interesting troops. Not that the Russia doesn't have interesting troops, but just so I can have more of them. Cool. But I think I left in a spot. Or I can actually just do a bit of diplomacy. Ooh, very friendly with lots of people. Mm -hmm. No, nope. everyone's fine. End turn. Oh. There's a rake up to no good. There you go, get the garrison force into into um, Baghdad. Get another rake on the go. No, I'm not I don't want naval tech, and I'm giving you industry and philosophical tech. No. Bad deal. I'm not gonna have a bad deal. I don't wanna make a damn deal anymore. Hmm. If I take Scandinavia, I may start investing in a navy and then start sending them out to the trade regions. But I will have... Oh, I think, well, I think my grand plan was to have some sort of massive pincer movement over Europe. Take Scandinavia, take the Ottomans out and do go along all North Africa. I'd like some stacks to push down into India, make this campaign a bit... a bit different. Actually, no, I'm not going to talk about my French campaign. I'm obviously... Hmm. Need to find out what type of campaign this is. Because, yeah, I've talked about how... Oh, look at them. Running around. Um, I've talked before about how... Um, I actually have an eye on starting a Hearts of Iron campaign. I'm fairly sure it might, it'll probably be after my United States campaign. The US campaign, I just need to capture a bunch more territories. Whereas the United Provinces one, I need to capture specific ones, including territories in India. Um... It's a chance that the United States one will finish first. And I'll keep it. I'll keep the save. Like, I kept my Prussia one, just in case I fancied doing a world domination with Prussia. Like, I can just, I can just load up my save and carry on. Or I could start from from scratch again if I wanted to, um, for some reason. Um, but yeah. Oh, good. Pirate, pirates still exist. There is Path blocked. In this here Let's get down to Athens. Hmm, may as well have a pop at you. <laughs> oh, classic. I, I, these things never work for me. Never. Cool. Does Baghdad need a boardy house? 
It doesn't, but I'll do it for the rakes. I presume it increases rakes. Ooh, Desert Camel Mercenaries. That's interesting. Agent detected. Aha! Sure, so I might try pop this spy as well. Ah, oh, didn't get the agent. Yeah, I mean, oh, right. Just a second, guys. I'm going to quickly nip to the loo. And I'm back. Sorry for that, guys. Um, turns till surrender to... You know what? Shall I... Fight them. I think I will. Let's capture Istanbul. The so I think I'm... Okay, I need to be with Austria, because Austria could turn on me like that. Poland's a concern, because Poland's a big... Um, but big enough to capture some territories quite quickly before we can actually stop them. That's the thing to keep an eye on. In amongst all of this. Right. Ooh. Oh, I forgot it's a uh, Middle Eastern fort. Middle Eastern forts can be nice to defend. So in terms of Okay, so the storming divisions are going to be over over here. They're going to be my guards, <clears throat> my Cossacks, compared to line. Hmm, line are just... <laughs> like the Cossack infantry, they got lower accuracy but high reloading skills, so they're marginally less accurate, they fire more shots. They're cheaper as well. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be putting them on the with the storming divisions. I'm going to be putting them with some units to cover the breaches. So then have that, that, that. No, actually, let's do that. That, that. There's one, and then that, and that as two. Cavalry ready in case they sell out. General, just gonna general. Let's go right. You knock down that section of the wall. You knock down that section. And they are firing their cannons, so spread them out. Oof, Twenty casualties already. Yeah, if I spread my troops out, they should be less vulnerable to counter battery fire. It's a cool looking unit. In an ideal world, I knock this wall down, I knock this section down, and keep a unit trapped. Oh god! So many horsemen and armed populace janissaries. Interesting. Well, it'd be interesting to do an Ottoman campaign. It'd be a bit different because the, the the Ottoman Empire at this stage in history, I think, was in decline. So you've actually got a an empire that's got you know. Oh God! Counter battery fire. They are missing me, thankfully. Maybe I should focus fire. Ooh, what are you? Demi cannons? So you're probably shooting your own. You're the one that's shooting <coughs> shooting the armory. <coughs> yeah. No wonder they're getting out. Because <laughs> if they Ooh, they are oh, so they are starting to garrison the walls more. Let's get all of them to focus fire this wall. If I can take it over to fifty percent, they lose all these troops. Hitting my guns. Come 
Oh, one more. One more actually hit the wall. Or maybe not. Maybe Indian walls are different. Oh, not Indian. Um, these are East Count, it's Eastern. Okay, let's get really get the fire going. Speed up time a little bit too. They really are garnishing the walls quite strongly. Interesting. They're plucking away at my line infantry on the flank. But not enough. But yeah, hopefully they're very nice and they let me manage to actually destroy the walls. See, once these demi cannons go to work. Oh, my spies have opened the gates as well, which is nice. Sixty-six, sixty-eight. Hmm. It's been a bit boring, but I want to see if I can if we can trap all these guys up on the tops of the walls. That would be excellent. Although these guys are starting to struggle. You guys are struggling to hit. Hit the walls. But right now they're not really... Resp oh no, my spies didn't open the, the gates. Darn. A7. Still firing. Yeah, the armory's gone. So their own demi cannons are going to start impacting their walls. Ninety-five. Not before they all get off the wall, though. That's going to be unfortunate. Yeah, the last volley should do it. <laughs> Maybe not. There you go, one more. Boom. That's actually massive for a breach. I didn't realise it was that big. I might be thinking of the next tier up. Um, Indian Fortress. Sorry, uh, like sort of Middle Eastern Fortress. No, they're not really... These, these cannons are doing a really quite poor job. But no matter, let's... run them past the guns. Let's move them up to start securing the breach, because that's a good enough breach as any. Halt. I just saw them absolutely smash. There you go, they should run past them before the guns fire. Yep. There you go, handful of Cossacks. Let's have these guys hit that unit of garrison troops on the wall. Have them hit that unit there. If they want to completely abandon the walls, then I will move up in steady order.
see if we can lob shells into that central pile. Let's see if they go for it. They have gone for it. They might not hit though. They might smash into the wall. If they smash into the wall, they might get some of these guys. That's fine. Casualties. See, if I had howitzers here, they'd be doing the business. Now let's keep them firing on this unit on the walls. They can't hit the wall, clearly, um, <laughs> for whatever reason. Let's run them up, see if I can get them within musket range. Or at least even, you know, get them close enough such that if they move forward I can get them in the musket range. Yeah, just I'm not running these guys up, just walking them up because the Ottomans have been super nice and allowing me to the time. See, that gate is open. Front isn't... None of the rest are, so there must be some holdover... Um, ...action to try get them to someone to run out. Someone's probably... Might be these guys? They might be about to move out. So this unit I might actually plonk here. No, actually they're important. I've got more units here than I know that I can scale the wall at this section. Let's get a unit of guard musketeers to sit here and block the... All right. Now people are showing up, so I need to be a bit more... Aggressive. So if I can start luring them away from... Oh, hello. Charging out. Excellent. Just what I want. Charge the Janissaries. Abandon your attempt to climb the walls instead of run there. Oh, right, okay. Let's get my cavalry in. Oh, 
Holy moly. Yeah, this is going to slow the game down somewhat. It's just an armed mob coming through this gate. If I can get my some good infantry on the walls, that would be excellent. Same as here. Halt the firing and halt the firing of my cannons. So we can get my guards up on the on the wall here. No, don't run around. That's right. Come back. Don't climb the walls. Charge this unit. Oh God, alive! Everyone's getting. This unit might get destroyed because there's just so many, so many troops. Keep my cav out for now because they're actually still quite strong. Hit them so they don't flank my troops here, try and storm the gate. Okay, some of them peel off, so these guys might actually be able to kill these bashi bazooks themselves. Storm in. Now's the time. Apply maximum pressure. Hit them with my cav. Cool, this unit should. This unit should be able to annihilate the troops on the wall. Lots and lots and lots of troops. The balance and the balance and power is going towards my favour. If I can break this bulk here, which was easier said than done. So they're pouring shots into my cav, but also into the backs of their guys and causing them to rout. Run this unit out separately. 
hit this unit. I'd like to bounce from this unit into the back of the guys at the gate. That would be perfect. <laughs> nice and ugly. Oh man, these are colonial militia. Support them. Okay, so once these guys are out, I'm going to charge them into the backs of these garrison. These garrison guys. Because they're currently being shot at by their own troops. Yeah, get these guys to support the militia. Pound them. Well, this fight's not going as well as I'd hoped. These guys at the rear aren't going to be doing much. Send them into the back of this combat, tell them out, so I don't lose... I don't lose this unit of infantry and then have them just running around in the rear. Only one garrison guy there. Hit them instead. Charge down the ladder, down, charge down the down the steps into this absolute mess. Yeah, might be hard to lose my calf, but that's okay. Going to be winning the actual fight itself. Run them in through the main gate. Actually, you could get them to join this fight against the tunnel. Get these guys to come in. Get joined in this scrum. Get involved. Sorry. I am eventually going to get through this group. Actually, if I micro these goes well enough... Run them in, keep them... Keep them fighting... Well, actually, I can get them into the back of these guys, the gate. Charge them in. Let's do the same with these guys actually. See if I can. Actually, I need to do that. Shift click them around. Pin these guys. Hopefully, break their morale. Storm in through the front. Unless I run them into here. Then just have them fire in all directions. Because they've got windows to shoot 
the back of this combat, they've got windows to shoot into the back of this combat, they can shoot the guys in the front, they can shoot the guys there. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. These guys take this house. Cannons aren't firing, but yeah, they will shoot into all directions, which is all the combat. So they shoot to these guys, they shoot into the guys up the steps, they shoot the guys over here, they might even shoot those. No, the house is in the way. But yeah, they'll shoot to the backs there, 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 shoot the back of this combat. Good shout, I think. And if they want to take it back, they have to take it back from a bunch of angry Russians. So the combat's out here. It's ongoing. It's going better. Yeah, these guys are both wavering. They're being shot out in the back by their own troops. So they might have struggled originally to hold an entire full-strength Russian unit. But this unit's eh, more or less half-strength. And they go building captured. This guy's not have any of it. He's going to stand here and shoot. All this be damned. Ninety-one down from three sixty. these guys are all armed populous so they're not except for this guy that's wavering no they're still armed populous as well so yeah they're not good there's just loads of them a few I lost a few Russians waiting in the queue to get inside Eventually, some of these troops that are wavering just to break. Not going to combat, just. Just sit there and provide fire. They might get snagged into combat, but I'll pull them straight out if they do. Nope, oh, straight past. These guys should have reloaded, or they should be ready to... Oh, apart from that guy just got clubbed in the face. And this guy. Don't let them pull out. Don't let them pull out of the gate. slaughter this unit of armed populace, drag some away from this combat. Oh yeah, this fight. 
Pfft. Don't know if they won. Well, they must have won, or else they'd be dead. There we go. Everyone start climbing the uh, climbing the ropes. Charge on, don't worry about that unit of seven guys. Cause yeah, this unit this unit of three. Oh, he's making his Russian brothers pay for this. Oh, this guy. One v five. Ah. This guy about to get hacked in the back. Oh no, Cossack got him. Yeah, see the guys in this house are nice, little worthwhile investment. Everyone, granted, it's not many shots, but they're firing every, firing in all directions. Everyone gets that, you know, attacks in the rear penalty. Ooh. Run them in. unit of highly decorated line infantry. I need to see how many units some of these guys have killed. How many infantry. There you go. Russians have broken through on this front. Ah, oh, Cossack infantry. Some of the Cossack infantry have broken. These guys are knackered, but I need to keep on the charge, keep the pressure on their infantry. If anything, you guys just line up and start shooting their cav. If they don't fancy getting involved. Oh, Arm Pop is trying to storm my house. Mm, may as well just focus on him. Get him out quick. Very veteran armed populace. Maybe shot in the back. Nope. There you go, just the one. Wasn't the plan. The plan was to have them run next to it, but this is just as good. Shoot the horse in the rear.
Getting on the charge. charge them in and then you just sit there on the center flag oh there you go that is Istanbul cleared out I own the not the Dardanelles but it's the Bosser Bosophorus Bosophorus Bosphorus Sorry, I had to Google it. it was, it's going to annoy me. Uh, cool. Stumble is mine. All right, let's fix. Fix. Destroy the observatory. Things with the observatory, I like to build my own cultural buildings more than anything. Uh, that's cool. Infrastructure. Let's do an infrastructure check. Ooh, let's do a port check. Considering as you are pretty much most of my exports. <laughs> Sweden's trying to run around. So I'll just run back here. Cool. So I'm more bothered about defeating the Ottomans now rather than uh, beating the Swedes for now. Um, but anyway, looking at the time, it looks like at the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.